Hi people, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk and in this video we're going to be talking about uh, the system uh, restore uh, in the recovery console, how to re rectify this error message that you get. This is quite a tricky one to fix and there's a numerous different things you're going to have to do and this means, you know, basically it could mean the hard drive's on its way out as well so but assuming that you've watched my first video on how to fix it, now that should have fixed it but I'm still getting a few emails from people telling me that they're actually getting um, uh, access denied and whatnot when they try and do anything. So I'm going to show you a way to actually get the access denied lifted and actually go into uh, Recovery Console to fix this similar uh, problem in a different way. So let's get started anyway. So what we need to do is go into my virtual machine and actually access the Recovery Console. So I'm going to go R. So you're going to have to bear me because this is a virtual machine. I know it's very small. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Now we need to push one here. You may have a dual boot, so I'm just going to push one because that's the one I want to enter into. I've not got no administrator password, but if you have, you need to enter it at this point. Now, the next thing I need to do is go CD, C colon, backslash, and then type in a system, like so. And then I need to put, do this squiggly line. I don't know what that's called and then I need to put a one there I need to put a backslash and then an underscore and then rest and then a squiggly line and then a one now we're getting access denied now that's perfect so that means I can show you how to rectify this and how to carry on with this process so if you get an access denied this is what you need to do so the first thing you need to do is go into the directory change directory so you need to go CD and I will type all this up, so you need to put CD system32, like so, and we're gonna that means we're in Windows and System32 now. So we need to go change directory again into config, like so, and now we're into Windows System32 config. Okay, now we need to type ren, which is uh, rename, and then we need to type in a system and then system dot back. So, okay, that's just going to change that file name to dot back at the end of it. Okay, once that's done, we need to exit and restart the recovery console. We can't continue until that's done. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to let this boot back up, pause it for a second, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, let me just pause this up until it gets into recovery console, and I'll see you back in the GV. Okay, we're just nearly letting this uh, boot up now. Just going to tell you a couple of more things that you're going to need to make sure before you can actually do this. You basically need to make sure your system restore is actually activated and turned on for it to work. And you need to make sure that you've actually got reset restore points to actually restore from. Okay, if you look some of my videos, I'll tell you all about that and how to do it. But basically, as well, this is only going to uh, actually recover a small, tiny part of the registry. It's not going to take the whole registry. Okay, so. That's bearing that in mind, this is what you're going to have to do. So once this is fully loaded, we can then uh, access the restore point. I'm just open this a few restore points I need to show you because it is a virtual machine. So let me just quickly pause this a second. If I can get to it. Okay, so we're back at the point where we're going to get into the recovery console again. So I'm going to need to push R when it comes up. So I'm going to push R here. I need to just access the keyboard, that's it, R, and then this will come back into the recovery console, like so. I'm going to do one, and I'm just going to type in now CD. Okay, so we need to go back to the actual C colon backslash system, uh, that squiggly line on one. I can see a mistake there already. Did a, sorry about this, I've got a new keyboard. It's uh, not a really nice one. It's one of those ones that have bend in the middle, so and I don't like them. So I'm going to dump this tomorrow, and then get a new one. So basically, once we've done that, we need to do backslash underscore rest low uh, squiggly line on one. And what that's going to do is put us in that directory. Okay. So once we're in there, we can type dir, and now we can see we've got the restore points there. So I'm going to use RP1 like I did last time. So basically, 
change directory to RP1. Okay, so we're now in that point. Now we need to do CD snapshot. And as you can see, it's letting us uh, it's letting us actually do that now, whereas before it wasn't. So it's letting us um, it's letting us get into that direct part of the directory where it's saying no before it was saying access denied. So we've actually proved the point where it actually does work. So once we're in here, we need to type out now uh, the actual command to actually copy the part we need to do. Okay, so we need to copy space underscore registry okay underscore machine oh this key's not very uh system and then we need to do space c colon backslash and then we need to type in there uh, system uh, windows like so and then we need to do backslash system okay system 32 okay backslash and we need to put in a config I'm not the fastest type in the world I'm afraid so it's not my forte <laughs> and then system okay and then we push enter here at this point so now that's saying one file is copied it's a bit of a long command but it's done now and the next thing you need to do um, after that is overwrite system file which is done and then we need to exit this and reboot okay so we're just going to exit that and that should be all fixed so let's just see if we get any problems these I'm not sure these restore points whether they're working or not but we'll soon see here you go it's working okay okay and that would have rectified any problem that you had there okay you've been watching uh, Brian from Brightech.co.uk. Please leave your comments and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much for watching. I'll be making some more tutorials in the future. Bye for now.